YouTube. This is Esther Gifted Hands coming to you with a new video about laxatives. It takes me two to three days to actually use the bathroom. I'm always constipated, so I have to use um, laxative for me to be able to use the bathroom. So I know the comments, you're probably going to be like, you have to eat better, drink more water. I do that. Like I have a stack of water right here. So I drink water. I eat a bunch of fibers and, you know, I even eat a lot of vegetables. Drinking a lot of apple juice at one time, I was eating prunes like it were candy. So I noticed the more I don't use the bathroom, the more I will be a little gassy and... Nobody wants to walk around just farting all day. That's just like not ladylike. So I try to find all the right things to make me go regularly. And sometimes I just wish that my body will work naturally and just, I, I wish I can just wake up in the morning, use the bathroom like a regular person and then go about my day. But it does not work like that for me. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people are also struggling with this. I've been in a situation once before where it took me like almost two weeks to use the bathroom. I was so bloated and constipated that People were asking me, was I pregnant? That's how bad it got. So I ended up going to the hospital and they had to like flush me out. Once I experienced that, I went to the doctor for it and they prescribed me like a powder form of Miralax, a prescribed form of Miralax um, for me to take with every meal. I did not seem to find that to work for me as well so i'm like hey if you have to take a blood test or something to let me know why i'm having this issue and i don't think they're taking me very serious so i decided i was going to take matters into my own hand find things that will work for me things that you can find at your local store food line walmart walgreens anywhere you go you will be able to find these products so today i'm going to share my top Three favorite laxatives. Number one favorite laxative is magnesium citrate. So this thing right here, this is no joke. So there's two different brands. There's the Equate brand and there's a Care One brand. Either or does the job. So this is my favorite only because when you go to the bathroom it kind of like warns you it's not painful and if you are really 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 backed up you will go within an hour you know but if you're not then within that six hour time frame you'll catch yourself using the bathroom now i will say you don't want to drink the whole entire bottle i drink like two-thirds so this is about how much I drink. I drink to all the way up here. So around the house, you will see a lot of like bottles that are like not all the way finished because I will only drink to about right here. Now, I've never actually tried to drink a whole bottle. You drink the whole thing if you want to, you'll be pooping for at least two days straight. So it has that kind of effect on you, especially if you're backed up. <laughs> but if you want to try it, go for it. But I'm not going for it because just drinking the uh, two thirds is just enough for me. I will say that if you drink this and it's time to go, you want to make sure that you cover the whole toilet seat with your butt because it splashes. So, yeah. You want to, you want to be able to use the bathroom in peace and not have so much to clean up. So yeah, that is my number one favorite laxative. My number two favorite laxative is milk of magnesia. Now you can find Philips Care One. It really does not matter uh, which brand you use as long as. 
it's milk of magnesium. Now, usually when I take this, I will take it before bed. And um, when I wake up in the morning, it's ready. So I also like this too, because it's not something that you have to like force out. And that's another thing. When you're drinking laxative, like you don't, when you have to force it out, then that means it's, it was not ready. When it's ready, your body will like physically warn you and be like, hey, it's time to go to the bathroom. So that's my number two. My third favorite laxative is dual collax. Now, I know that now they make the chewy kind, but the ones that I've always bought was the pills, and this is what the pills look like. So, when I take one pill, it does not work for me, so I have to take two. The only problem about this is, yes, it does work, but it's painful. When it's time to go, like... I've got an attack at work. Just couldn't, I couldn't even walk because I'm like, if I walk, it's going to come out. So I had to like, I, you know, I had to like walk slowly like this. And then it's, it's like this cramped feeling when it's ready, you get this bad cramp. So that is why this is not my number one favorite things to do. Now that I've found this, I no longer really take these anymore. But yes, the feeling of the cramps is unbearable sometimes, depending on who you are. Everybody will have different effects, but that is what it do to me. And like I said before, one pill does not work, so I take two. But if you've never had this before, I will say to start out with just one pill because you don't want it to like cause you no pain. So if the one pill eventually stopped working, then I will go to two. But I would not advise to start off with two because that would just be entirely too much if your body is not used to it. The difference between the taste of magnesium citra is very, very sour and it, it tastes like when you're pregnant and you take that, I think it's called glucose test and it's like that thick syrup. However, this is not as thick as the um, glucose test, but it's very, very sour and it's just like, oh, it's like, um, like the flavor is time 10 with very little water. I mean, I am bad when it comes to describing what things taste like, but yes, it it is not pleasant. There's different flavors. They got cherry, they got grape, they got lemon. Now, the Phillips, um, the milk of magnesia, that is like, eh. but I rather drink this than this because it's like a thicker white form. And let me show you what it looks like. So when you when you drink the milk of magnesium, you only need one cap full. So you wanna fill this up all the way to the top and take this before bed and it will do the trick. Now I will show you what it looks like. So this is a leftover bottle. This is the cherry flavor, so that's why it's pink. But it's it's not my favorite taste, but because it has the cherry in it, it's easier to drink. Because my saltwater flush was such a big hit, I wanted to make another video about my top three favorite laxative because the salt water flush is not something you want to do on a regular. It's not something you want to do every single day. That salt water intake is just too much um, for your body to, to bear. So here are different options. This is not something you take when you're trying to lose weight. This is something you take when you're constipated and feel like you cannot go by yourself. And constipation is usually when it's hard for you to have a bowel movement. The feces, it, it gets hard and dry and it really like refuses to come out. And when you're using the bathroom like less than three times a week, 
you're more than likely constipated because you're supposed to use the bathroom every single day. Now, I've had this problem for so long that, you know, I'm kind of like used to it. My doctor tried to give me like little tricks, told me every morning, wake up, go to the bathroom, even though you don't have to go, it would get my body used to trying to use the bathroom. So I did try that every morning. I would wake up, sit the toilet, and then I will try to force things out. You don't want to force it out because that can cause hemorrhoids. I've learned the hard way not to force things out. So yes, that's why now if if I go two to three days and I have not used the bathroom, I would just use one of these. So I only do it when I feel constipated. Let me say this again because I know there's kids or people that is watching that sometimes have like um eating issues and um trying to diet and this is not the correct form of dieting now when i did record my salt water flush video i spoke about colon pills now this is the brand that i used before i use it every six months it's called dr tobias um, I think I'm pronouncing it right, but it's a colon 14 day cleanse. So you're taking the pills once a day for 14 days. Now, this really, really, really cleans you out. Make sure that you have good spraying products in your bathroom just in case you decide to clean your colon. So, yeah, you don't really want to like uh, make your co workers and stuff having to smell that smell smell it all day long so yeah make sure that you walk around with a smelly good spray in your purse just in case you got to use the bathroom and you're on this so i have tried to use other different types of laxative but i found out that they don't really work for me i've tried the Miralax um at the store um, it does not work for me. I feel like I had to take it multiple times for a few days for me to finally have a bowel movement. And when the bowel movement came, it was still hard and hard to come out. So I did not like that. Um, I've also used castor oil. I actually make a brand just for bowel movement. So this is the one you can get it from Walmart or anywhere. Um, it, it's, it works but it's not as smooth as this. Castor oil has no taste, but it's really thick. My mom is so old school. She thinks that castor oil um, is does the trick for everything. Will grow your edges back, will make you poop, will heal um, wounds. Honey, she just put this on anything. So this castor oil, she used to tell me, take a spoonful and she said, go sit on the toilet and it will work. And it's like, mom, I I don't know if there's a difference from the back in the day castor oil and the today's castor oil. Yeah, so it does not work as fast as my mom claims for it to work. But I still always keep it in the house just in case. Well, if you're trying to just use the bathroom, then these are what you need to go get. So yes, happy 2021. Hope everyone have a blessed year i'm praying that COVID goes away so we don't have to wear masks anymore when i say i've been breaking out my face is usually naturally smooth and soft with no bumps but let me tell you ever since we've been wearing masks i've been like breaking out bad once i get my face back clear i will feel back to normal i am checking out checking out pop pop if you have any questions, I will gladly answer it. And I thank you all for watching. Please subscribe and like. And I hope to see you next video.